Hey orange one here, so we are back with Chip Chop who still cannot go to the left. Um, which is actually, now that I'm looking at it, saying something about our abilities. So I'm curious. It says we can't use flurry, which is attack. Maybe, oh hold on, what's this? The salamander is attacking us. Wow, we're, we're a little bit slower. Yeah, I'm just curious. Um, is it that my abilities have been... Um, let's change this from attack. Change this to... Gosh, what's a key that I'm never going to press? F11? Sure. <gasps> I can go left. That fixed it. No way. Okay. Well, don't press F11. <laughs> but we we can go left now. I don't know, is that better now? Or was that the whole appeal of the, the Let's Play? The fact that we couldn't go left. Yeah, I think, from what I remember, Chip Chop, your mission was to... Um, go and, well, A, become an amazing axe-wielding Druken... It can civilize this world. Um, and then there was also west of food merchant from Phyta east along the road that runs through the lair of Egos. Okay, so we need to go east until we find a road is, is what I'm hearing, basically. Um, there's a snap jaw there with a gun, making me a little nervous. Uh, weird artifact explodes. I don't know what gas that is, but whatever it is, the fact that they have grenades and at least one dude with a gun is enough for me to pull back. Oh, look, there's a little bit of scrap on the ground up there. Not that we have that skill. I'm not sure if we're even going to get that skill. But just something to keep note of. We've got some glow crows. Um, that horned chameleon did do an awful lot of damage to us there, but looks like we got it. Cool. Let's just heal up. Oh, we got a tortoise. All right, Mr. Tortoise. I'll fight you. Just about healed up. Um, we're going to do a flurry on you. Um, I am going to inflate my axons. We probably don't need to do that. And we're going to dismember you. You cleave through the air armor. Um, what if I look at them now? Uh, I'm not seeing, I don't think we actually, um, dismembered a limb there. I'm not sure how to check the, the log. One of these buttons over here. Uh, is it this one? No, it's not that. I'm just pressing buttons over there. <laughs> Never mind, let's just kill the tortoise. Right? Okay, now I am slowed a little bit. And he is about to go down. There we go. We got another skill. Cool. Just get our health back a little bit. I'm actually, you know what we need to do? We haven't cooked, and I forgot actually that they had changed the cooking. Stuff, and then I went back and rewatched some of my video. Oh look, they got a hand axe for us. 5, 1, D, 2. I think our knife is a little bit better than that. And let's just have a look, see, to see if the others have came over. They have not. Um, can I use the make camp while... Uh, hold on. No, I wanted to... Use this campfire. Yeah, can I cook? 
Yeah, just whip up any meal, because we don't have the recipes. Let's just use that to get our hunger back a little bit. Let's have a look at our, our character, huh? Can't, uh, there's no tribute point. Um, I think we wanted to do charge, but we don't have skills for that. We are going to need higher strength as well, so... Probably going to be putting points towards strength if we, uh... Depending on how long I end up playing this character, I don't know. With all the games that are coming out, it might this might take the back burner, and it might be a while before I even put this up online. Uh, we wanted... Was it charge? I think it was, uh... Charge what we were looking for is not there or there not there charge takes 150 oh man really death throwing nah we're not gonna do that is there anything where there's like 50 points that I could spend on something that would actually be useful um uh Oh, that's gonna cost a hundred. All this stuff costs a hundred to get into. I think we're gonna try and keep our axe specialty and try and get that charge and we'll go from there. We are not gonna charge in against those snap draws though. That's a bad move. See what we can find down here though. You know, I think that my caves of cud or not my caves of cud, my uh Oh, that was weird. Oh, that thing's attacking that tortoise. Okay. Let's get in on this then. Um, Flurry, hold on. Flurry him. And then I'm just going to try and dismember. We cleaved through, but I don't think we penetrated enough. Yeah. It seems to me that the dismember, at the very least, is helping cleave, cleave through armor. It's definitely better than nothing. That pig coming my way. It is. Okay, well, it looks like our friend here is continuing to attack what I'm attacking. Good. I will take that. We're actually good amount to leveling up again. This game is more than just killing wildlife, I swear. There's a lot to it. And, oh, another small pig farm. Um, kind of weird how it spawned in there. Uh, I'm looking for a road. So if I can find a road without falling in love with the farmer's daughter, that would be a win. Oh man, this is going to be a pathfinding nightmare. Sorry, buddy. We're going to have to... Um... How do we do force attacks again? Tool mapping, force attack is control and the number pad, which is going to be annoying for me. Can I do the south one being control and that? Yes. Yes, save that. So I can actually attack this fence. There we go. Cool. Now we're through. We can continue looking for our road. Uh, we have a ruin. We might want to repurpose our mission here. To clear out this ruin. There could be some good stuff in here. And there's at the very least, there's some Snapjaw experience. They don't give you a whole lot. They only give you 10 at this point. Your experience that you get depends on their their level and your level, by the way. Uh, do I have moccasins on? Curious what I'm wearing foot-wise. Wooly leather moccasins. We've got some extra warm leather moccasins. That's exactly what I think of when I think of leather moccasins. Nice warm shoes. <laughs> uh, what about our face? Oh. Forgotten what the vine wood does. Uh, let's look at it. 
Noxious gas and vapor. No active effects. Well, we're going to put it on. Even though it says it doesn't do anything. Uh, no, we're not going to store anything. This is a ruin. There could potentially be like turrets and other stuff that could just like kill me. So I do want to be kind of careful about that. All right, for real, how do I switch the uh, not tab? How do I switch this side? Sorry, it's bothering me. Um, I know it's in here and it's like really easy. Just making it even more frustrating that I can't figure it out. Uh, toggle sidebar. Okay, divide and multiply. That's what I'm looking for. Um, oh, let's see. Divide and multiply. Isn't that what I'm pressing right now? I'm pretty sure I'm pressing those in game. Not doing anything. Okay, well, I guess that we can't switch sides. My keyboard. Yeah, this keyboard in this game really don't get along for whatever reason. It's a huge pain because being able to use the UI in this game is pretty important, as you could imagine. There's not a whole lot to go off of besides the UI. Okay, we've got 25 experience there. Yeah, it's going to take a while to get leveled up at this rate. I'm not going to dive straight into that rune because I'm still kind of looking for a road. I mean, I know that um, our friends have spawned in somewhere. Water skin, not sure. Thing is, is that it could just be so many different random places. I mean, I've gone east. And it's supposed to be, I'm just double checking. Um, Yeah, we're going to need to find, um... We're going to need to find that road and that glow fish. At this point, I don't think we're going to find the, um... We're going to find that anytime soon, but it's something to keep an eye out for. Oh, hello there. I'm actually not too worried about his arrows. So I'm like not even going to block him. Okay, we did miss there. Maybe I should... Um... Yeah, let's inflate those axons. There we go. Easy. What did you drop for me? 30 iron mace. I am going to get that. The buckler, sure. I mean, actually the buckler, I, I think I'll dump. I don't, I don't see myself using that. We're not building towards a sword and board character, so... It doesn't really make much sense to carry that around. I mean, it would give us a little bit more armor. Which is tempting. Uh... I need to pull back though. We're getting hurt. Okay, we're good though. Just a little uh, heal until rested there with the Omnitil button. Yeah, I was talking about this, I think, in the uh, Nosh's Dark Days Ahead, Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead series. Um, oh, what the? Another ruin. We've discovered two ruins. Too bad we're not like nearly high enough level to even start exploring them. Uh, yeah, I think that I'm probably going to. Oh, that thing's. Oh, salt hoppers. This thing could hurt a lot. I need to be careful here. Um, inflate the axons. Be flurry them. Uh, and then 
the dismember. Mobility has been impaired and they have been disabled. Okay. Right hind leg. Oh wow. So it's pretty badly hurt then. I mean it's it's fine, it says, but this thing's hurting. Yeah, it's not bleeding. Oh it is bleeding now. There we go. I'm gonna get that. I don't know if we're going to be able to cook anything with it, but I think we will. Let's just wait. Um, we're on the button for wait until your abilities have cooled down, but there is one that's kind of like that that would, would be useful in this situation. Oh, look at this. I bet we end up breaking it because we're not particularly smart. Oh, no, we got a shade injector. Oh, man. I was hoping we wouldn't be able to understand it. Phase conjunction grenade. Wow. Got some fancy grenades there. I'll take the arrows as well. Um, uh, can I look at it? Doesn't that give me information? Yeah. I could pray. The pistachio terror of dad. So is dad like allergic to pistachios and we're like praying to this creature? Man, I guess we really don't like dad. Come here, Snapjaws. I can take you. Um, I'm tempted to grab the dagger just because it's so lightweight. Like, decent for trading. And it's a bronze dagger, so it's kind of not worth it. There's a iron battle axe. I'm not sure how I feel about the Iron Battle Axe, because we have a steel one, don't we? Steel Hand Axe. So 7, 1, D, 3. Uh, what about this? 7, 1, 3. I mean, it's, it's definitely worse, but it's getting up there. No Worm Skull, just so you guys know what this looks like. Yeah, we're gonna equip that. Hold on. Uh, whoops, wrong button. I meant to... Um... Whatchamacallit? There we go. I wanted to... Show effects. No active effects. Equip. Good. So we've got... Some wooden mask and some worm skull on us. Because, yeah, you don't want to mess with us. Okay, come here. Come here, little snapjaw. Bark, bark. Um, I think I'm just going to go with a flurry and a dismember on him. Does not look like he got dismembered, though. He's hurting. That worm, I'm pretty sure that's a null, plated null worm. Those can be really mean. Mostly because they kind of mess up your armor, from what I remember. And yeah. It's sprinting as well. So I'm trying to sprint away. And it's pursuing me by sprinting. How interesting. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to outrun it. Okay, uh... Our dismembers just about came back. i going to inflate my axons and try and dismember it. Uh, they cleave through my armor. It's, uh... Mobility has been impaired, though. And we did cut off its tail. Um, okay, you, you cracked something that I'm not really that attached to. Did I just cleave even more? Yep. Cleaved even more. Okay, it should die. Yeah. Cool. And look, a little tail. Very cool. Um... 
Yeah, let's let's go get this road though. I keep on thinking it's just gonna be a little bit further east. I'm pretty sure at this point we've yeah we've overshot where the road should be. Yeah, we're getting to the flower fields. It's gonna be. I mean, maybe there's a road going through the flower fields. I mean, that is possible. I didn't see it though. A snapjaw fort. Well, as intrigued as I am, not really what I was looking for. Uh, can I just blurry him? How are we doing? Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get the abilities out. Now, look at what he had. Uh, ring mail. I'm gonna equip that, and I'm gonna take that. Our inventory, we actually are fine. Okay, let's just get... There's dead salamander there. Now that I'm wearing the ring mail, I do need to be... A little bit more careful because we're not going to be able to like dodge anything. Hello, snap jaws. Hi. Yeah, I'm a little nervous because one of them could just have a gun and shoot me. And I d don't like not being able to see them at night. Seems like a foolish move to charge in, but it looks like the equines have done so and they've been fine. Is it just me? Is it also getting brighter right now? I think it's just me. I think I'm just seeing things. Wishful thinking. Steel Balak. See, this is... Oh, and leather boots. That is, I think, just as good as what I have. Weapon-wise. So we could be getting a better melee weapon off of these guys. They typically don't have that good of axes, but it's possible. Okay, um, whoever is still around, let's just bake through this fence. It's an arrow slit. Oh, so they can shoot through the arrow slit? That's interesting. So I'm pretty sure that that's placed there so they can shoot through things. Huh. I haven't seen them do that before, but... It makes a lot of sense to for the AI to have a little structure like that. Um, hold on. Yes, there's a dual encrusted short sword. That's so cool. I love how this game has stuff like that. You know? Look at it. Water Barons really like that. Got two jewel encrusted items that the Water Barons would like. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, have a look. Hopefully we'll find that road. I feel like we should start looping back. Oh, we're getting swarmed. Not good. Kill him. Uh, flurry on him. Dismember on him as well. He's been dismembered. What did he lose? Right arm. Nice. I had a feeling that we were going to kill that dude, so I just did my ground. Uh, feathered bark armor. Didn't get anything special from that, huh? Okay, well, let's, um, let's do what we've been working towards for a while now. We wanted to get the ability to charge, right? Uh, where is that? That would be here. Yep. I want to buy charge. Yeah, that's actually a super cool ability. And then we'll be able to get charging strike. And then we have double chance to dismember with that. Oh man, this is going to be such a broken character in terms of balance. Oh. We're just going to be dismembering all kinds of snapjaws. Yeah, check this out. Come here, snapjaw. Where are you? I saw you just a second ago. 
you die? Oh. What just show off my cool new ability? Um, I think I'm gonna try and charge the archer. Yeah, let's kill these dudes. And then the Echo Queens actually look like they've got the archer. I'm gonna charge down here. Uh, so if I do E, and then I select him, can't charge that far. Well, let's let him get a little closer. E, and then if I do down arrow, it should select him. I charged him. That was a pretty good attack. I'm gonna lie, pretty happy with that. Uh, try and dismember him. Dismembered, what did he lose? Left hand. Uh, that's not the best. I mean, it's not bad, but I would have liked a little more. Okay, so now they're all dead. If I look... How's the hostility? Yeah, he's fine. He's not going to attack me. Just a little bit worried. Sometimes those Egg Queens, which are basically... Uh, as you can see, like horses, they um, they sometimes go hostile to you. They're a great source of experience if you can kill them, like seriously. Um, I'm kind of getting to the point where I might feel comfortable diving underground. I mean, we could also just get completely wrecked if we do that. You have to keep that in mind. Egg Queen just asleep. Yeah, see this archer? What's gonna happen is then I can charge you. And I can just insta kill you. That's so cool. Uh, Masterwork Bronze Balax. I'm not sure what the value of that's gonna be, so I'm, I'm gonna pick it up for now. And. Mostly because I'm feeling kind of bad about there not being too much action in this episode. I'm gonna go down. We're gonna go under underground here. See what we see down there. I could just get one-shotted. I'm seeing something in the distance glowing. Um, yeah. There's a fire there. Okay. Probably some snap jaws or something down here. The first level's usually not too bad. Flaming web? Why is it flaming? Oh, because I hit with a torch. I gotcha. Okay. That makes sense. A cave spider. Gotta kill that real quick. Oh, we're bleeding. Yeah, we'll just wait. For that bleeding to stop, yeah, we're, we got enough health. Fresh water? No way, we found some fresh water. Nice, well that's uh, essentially free money. I don't know how much of it I want to pick up, because it, although we trade using water, um, you can find it fairly easily, and there's other things which are more valuable by weight. So I would tend to go for those if I can. Okay, with this. Yep, yeah, nothing. Um, instead of going through the water, let's just have a look, see underground, see what we can find. Just empty? Um, okay, this is not just empty. Charge the plant. Oh, never mind. Alright, get a little health back. That was nothing, that was just something shooting uh, seeds at us. Okay, go for a flurry on it, and then a dismember. That's worked out pretty well for me without having to inflate my ax axons. Oh, I haven't actually did their ground for quite a while there. I've also been thinking about about getting the butchery and cooking skill, but I explored that so much with my last character, I might just hang away from that and just be like combat abilities, you know? 
That being said, if we're going to continue this as a series, uh, of course that's a given. I examine. Can I not disassemble that? Compass bracelet. Yep, I'm going to have that. That'll help me not get lost as much. Be nice, and we'll take these. Well, good trading goods. Quilted shawl. Huh. Okay. Um, I think... Oh my gosh, there's all kinds of treasure chests here. Explosive grenade. We found a little uh, grenade locker or something. Okay, yeah, this looks like a pretty good time, uh, judging by how long this has gone for us to end this here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.